Hello fellow warriors against consensus reality. Lovers of truth, wisdom, irreverence, and um, any fellow pagans, heathens, or witchy folk. It's, um, we live in interesting times and um, amusing times. <laughs> And uh, the most amusing is dealing with fellow people, I find. Especially fellow people who are still caught up in um, what I call slavery mindsets. Ideologies, religions, whatever, which... Um, shackle them on all levels um, especially religions which are meant to shackle them on all levels yes I'm talking to you Abrahamic gobshites um, recently I had a interesting experience on fake book yes I call it fake book um, where I was in fake book prison for 24 hours for posting a picture of Thor's hammer Mjolnir. That's it. That's all it was. And they started off with apologizing got it wrong to banning me for 24 hours anyway. And I'm thinking the only reason that could possibly happen is because I posted a picture a heathen based picture and nothing else um, so it seems to me that this supposed attitude of tolerance and diversity and all this fucking bullshit is just that fucking bullshit And it amuses me to know when, when I'm in a live chat, live stream chat window, and people start quoting the Bible. Ah, <laughs> uh, you really, you're really not doing your um yourself any favors as far as credibility when you when you start posting that um, collection of fables and mythology. Yes, mythology. Oh, shock horror. I know, there was no historical Jesus. Oh dear. Neither was there any historical Solomon or David. Oh no. And the Old Testament isn't anywhere nearly as old as I say it is. Oh dear, what shall we do? Especially when even the old, their, uh, their precious um, monotheistic banner carrying Old Testament is replete with um, stolen pagan imagery as well. <laughs> Why do you think the so-called prophet Elijah was called Elijah and he was taken to heaven on a what? What people? A fiery chariot drawn by fiery horses. Yes, can you say the Hellenic god Ilios? Yeah, sorry to disappoint you there, old sport. Even the so-called Star of David, it's a stolen pagan um, alchemical symbol. <laughs> the marriage of the two opposite elements. <laughs> uh, oops, the, the marriage of the two equilateral triangles is ancient Hellenic paganism. Sorry! But, um, you'll... You'll find that these people are still deathly afraid of paganism, witchcraft, heathenry, and all other non-Abrahamic um, expressions of the human spirit. Because, of course, especially um, Islam, well, pff, Islam is a later um, thought cancer, so I won't even, it's not even worth my problem. My uh, my time, um, but Christianity specifically was specifically chosen to keep people controlled and obedient 
Why do you think Constantine even bothered? Because he suddenly became a Christian? No. He was a member of Sol Invictus, um, mind and heart and soul to his dying day. So no, it wasn't because he was suddenly, um, he saw the light and had a um, Damascus Road experience and he sort of like, finally met Jesus. No, wrong. Because Christianity was a the perfect vehicle of full human control and suppression. As is a lot of ideologies pushed. You know how you can tell which one is, is that? The one that all of them, mainstream media, corporations, governments, all those gobshites, the one they're pushing. Okay? Atheism, materialism, whatever ism, the one that they're pushing, chances are it's a one designed to control people and or suppress people. Which is why they're even trying to suppress the wonderful power of mythology these days. Which in the modern era is expressed through film, television, whatever, whatever, right? Why do you think they're coming up with all this fake virtue signaling, woke, um, thought policing? It's suppression of the collective human creativity, the collective human imagination. And they're doing that on purpose. To keep people suppressed and powerless and castrated from their own innate power. Their own innate freedom. Which is why there has been a resurgence in paganism and heathenism in the last couple of decades. Because that those of us who do follow this path realize the... The freedom in it, it enables you as a sentient, aware human being. You're not groveling on the, on, on, on the ground in front of a, a jealous, angry deity begging for favours. Saying, oh, I'm so unworthy, oh, only your glory, la, la, la. No, that's fucking bullshit. You're a religious cuck but when you do that. I'm sorry, but I have a problem with any deity who is fixated on the male foreskin. Okay. <laughs> An Abrahamic gobshite asked me one day, oh, what do your gods do? They teach me how to wake the fuck up and think for myself. And not be so fixated on what dangly bits you have between your legs and what you do with those dangly bits. But the, um, especially in this day and age of totalitarianism, and it's blatant, they're not even trying to hide it anymore. Why do you think they brought in, let me sort of give you another little example of this human suppression thing, shall I? Why do you think they suddenly brought this mask bullshit towards the end of it? Nothing. To, it's got nothing to do with the virus. It's been shown by... by um, um, by specialists and virologists and all these other wonderful people time and again that it has no effect whatsoever on virus. So therefore, they're not um, mandating the, the wearing of face masks for a virus. So, hmm, there has to be another reason. Well, yeah, there is. Dehumanization. To make people faceless, a faceless pair of eyes. To suppress people. It's a tool of suppression. Ideologies are used as tools of suppression. Hell. Modes of entertainment. Television. Online streaming. Film. 
are tr have become tools of suppression. Not expressions of allegory and the human condition and archetypes and the continuation of the human collective connection with that wonderful mythology which is the most important tool to express these things. Superman's going to be black now. Okay, ball ring. So every character is going to be black and or a lesbian woman. Ball ring. So, all right. Um, when can we recast Shaka Zulu as a very pale-skinned, blue-eyed, blonde-haired German guy? Thanks. The thing that really sort of annoyed me personally was um, that silly show about ancient Troy where um, Achilles was depicted as an African man he wasn't from Africa he was from Thessalia he looks like I do okay he was a Hellene he wasn't African Thessalia is not in Africa So can you sort of leave our, our own European culture alone, please? They are our own. So tools of suppression. Um, so Christianity has been the most effective tool of suppression for, well, geez, the past 1600 years. Um, not so much now because they're realizing that it's sort of useless and pointless and has no power it's castrated its own power by becoming his uh, by becoming historicists ooh, 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 because you had such such illustrious people as uh, the pagan philosopher celsus who um rightly pointed out that hmm your jesus has a very there's a very striking resemblance to all these other long line of pre-existing pagan Dying and resurrecting God men. So, oh, 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 let's do something different. Oh, we're copying a lot of flaky. It's like um, proto Christianity, like that Constantine tried to cobble together. It's sort of like Disney Star Wars. It's ridiculous. Everyone saw that it was ridiculous, but they sort of suppressed any kind of dissenting opinion. So, oh, let's get rid of all those sort of annoying books, esoteric books by the Gnostics. Oh, let, let's get, let, let's put together a, a list of books that we think should be considered scripture. What a fucking great idea, even though over a third of them were blatant forgeries. Oops, sorry. Right? <laughs> And you had the Council of Nicaea and all these other fucking um, circuses of um, of the ridiculous farcical pantomimes, and uh, they got together the Nicene Creed. And oh, here's this is what you're going to believe. Otherwise, we're going to destroy you, steal your property, and burn you at the stake. Yeah, can you fucking feel the love, right? And they've been deathly afraid of witchcraft and paganism, heathenism, well, since then, till now. <laughs> when an Abrahamic gobshot asks you specifically what religion you are, and you tell them, you see the look of fear on their face. Then they mention, ooh, hell, la, 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 la. well, sorry, old sport, but there is no everlasting burning hell anywhere in the New Testament. Sorry, that's a bad misunderstanding based on a gross mistranslation by James I. Sorry. As someone who doesn't need Strong's, Vines or Young's Concordance to read the original Hellenic um, New Testament, yeah, you can see why I'm laughing at this point. And so, the more power they gained, the more suppression and, well, genocide really, um, they conducted. And it has been like that ever since. Um, whether it be Atheism, well, you're pushing the agenda of totally um, castrating yourself, suppressing your spirit, suppressing your own innate power which you have access to and 
you don't need any priest or any fucking guru or any fucking gobshite to access. You can access it yourself. Which is another reason why paganism is gaining a resurgence these days. Because pe people are seeking just that. As the spirit of the um, Aquarian age is filtering more through into this current age, that looking within for quote-unquote salvation is going to be increasingly the norm. Piscean age is dead. Sorry Christians. Externalizing um, salvation and whatever, whatever, whatever. No, that's 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 old hat. And you gobshite who think you're being all edgy and cool by sort of saying, "Ooh, I'm <laughs> an atheist." Yeah, you're being brainwashed, and you're purposely wearing the muzzle of suppression. Congratulations. Oh, and can you stop? sort of getting your greasy dirty hands on our on, on our um, wonderful illustrious Hellenic philosophers um, they were religious men okay stop trying to make them into proto-atheists on his deathbed my ancient namesake oh no he shared his real name uh, Socrates um, actually said oh by the way can you sort of um, go to the local temple and dedicate a um, a hen to um, Asclepios, god of healing. Thanks. <laughs> right. <laughs> Man, you pink skin, fucking clueless uh, Oxford University gobshites have no fucking idea what our ancient Hellenic culture is all about. You have no fucking idea. You stick to Camelot, okay? And even that you fucked up during the Middle Ages. <laughs> here's, a, here's a hint. The Grail isn't the cup of Jesus. Oops. And even even with Tolkien, I mean, as as much as I love um, podcasts like the Tolkien Road, um, they have converted to Roman Catholicism. Fuck knows why. And so they're sort of spouting this sort of. The Lord of the Rings is a Roman Catholic work because Tolkien said something in an obscure letter to. To a Jesuit priest, yeah, well, he would to a Jesuit priest, wouldn't he? Meanwhile, in a letter in 1946, which has been conveniently ignored by the podcast like this, um, he says very clearly that um, Gandalf is basically Odin, which, of course, many of us already knew, right? Can you say sort of heavily influenced by... Norse paganism? Sorry, it's not a Roman Catholic work. The quest and the destruction... The quest for the destruction of the ring isn't sort of the same as Jesus coming back. Or the resurrection. Sorry. Oh, and um, <laughs> my favourite. Tom Bombadil is not St. Francis of Assisi. <laughs> oh, and Goldberry is not um, Mary. Sorry. Uh, you might want to look at the paganism of your own pathetically fucked up church, okay? And you, as you can see, as I'm sort of sharing all these rambling thoughts, when people try to suppress anything of humanity, it warps them it, and it perverts a whole lot of shit. That's what it's designed to do. It's designed to, it's part of, it's like a mini great inversion. Let's take everything cool and just make it evil and everything sort of fucked up and um, stupid. Let's make that wonderful and an example of a good human being. Well, TV's fucked. So is film. Let's focus on the skin colour of Superman instead of a well-written character and a well-written storyline. Oh, and like some fucking clear stupid gobshite on, uh, on our Star Wars channel. Let's have a wank over manly action. <laughs> Right? Yes, there are people that's stupid out there. There are people on st on the street corner still trying to hand you um, Jesus freak pamphlets, getting all butt hurt when you when you smile and say no, thank you, nicely. Freedom of the human spirit is all we need today, people. Remove the shackles of totalitarian suppression. Like fuck, do it in your own life. 
you'll realize that, that you still have it by how you react to certain things and um, when you hear a message alert or some kind of alert on your phone you sort of get that instant micro rush of endorphins thinking that it's all oh, it, someone's sort of posting a comment or a like on Facebook yeah you need to detach from all that shit get away from it all get your hands on physical books talk to physical people go into nature people Abrahamic gobshites whine about um, oh they're focusing on closing out places of worship well geez I'm out in nature uh, I'm walking among in a grove of trees and well geez that is my place of worship <laughs> it is not the object of, of my worship sorry Abrahamic gobshites who try to purposely uh, put shade on paganism that is not the object of my worship that is the place of my worship again there's suppression you need to go to a man-made building to express any kind of divine anything veneration of anything no you don't forgiveness well the only person you need to first seek forgiveness from is yourself fuck any um, altar boy fucking weirdo right I will say at least Greek Orthodox priests actually fuck women and have children and families but anyway this is a time to free ourselves from all shackles of um, of suppression of human suppression people access and revel in that glorious human imagination and creativity which is needed now more than ever in the words of one of my favorite um, YouTube content creators anyway that's all I've got for you today go away now